Hey toy fans, Aaron here from Toy Shelf Review and today we're looking at another figure from the 6 inch black series line from the Rogue One movie and that is K2SO number 24 in the black series lineup. Let's check it out. Alright so here we got K2SO out of the package. Uh, this guy is a reprogrammed Imperial security droid. So this one's one of my favorites out of the new line of figures. And then aside from his look the other thing that stands out is just how tall this figure is. Uh, as you see, I got him next to Jin and Cassian, their Black Series figures, and he stands above them quite a bit, another inch and a half maybe over Cassian. As expected with the 6-inch Black Series line, there's lots of good uh, detailing here, uh, nice weathering on the paint job on this figure I feel as well. So here's a look at the head. I mean, even down to his neck piece, I don't know, I just, I feel like they kind of put some effort into this figure and it really shows a lot more weathering through the shoulder a little orange stripe on the on the uh, side here uh, we got the imperial signal on the uh, left shoulder and on the right shoulder at the joints of his elbows and knees you have try and show it here you get this clear piece here there's at the elbow and there's at the knee and looking down the leg just more detailing and some weathering at the top of the feet. As far as articulation goes, there's a lot to be had on this figure. Uh, at the base of the neck, you got a ball joint. So it, it moves around. And then at the top of the head, another ball joint as well. So you can really give him a, a look like that. Uh, at, his, at his arms, his shoulder here, and some up, down. And this is where he becomes a little more limited because of the size of his shoulder plate here not fitting inside uh, the chest plate so that's what you get out of that one I seem to be able to get a little more out of his right one than his left shoulder here oh no we'll force it in a bit there we go at the elbow joint you get swivels at the top and the bottom of the elbow at the at the top and base so here and then also you can turn it here and it bends up and down at the wrist swivels around and then side to side at the waist area you got some spinning in here you can spin them all around and then we also aside from the swivel <clears throat> we get a little side to side movement here as well at the leg joint you got some swiveling here as well in and out just another ball joint at the knee same thing swivels at the top of the joint and swivel at the base and then of course bends around at the ankle, no swiveling, does not swivel at the ankle, just a little side to side on the foot. So look at the back of the figure, a little antenna pack here, some more miscellaneous detail. Pretty cool figure, I really like it, lots of detail, lots of articulation, and like I said earlier, it's, just, it's a figure that really stands out, very unique to the movie. So what are your thoughts on the K2SO figure? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.